Okay, so I have a, a ton of different camera equipment, some GoPros, uh, a couple 360s and whatnot. Um, the 360s, I've never been happy with mounting them, but with the new Kawasaki, uh, it actually comes with several different, what are those even called? Um, mount thingies. It's called multi-mount system. There, you see that. So there's like three or four of them. So I, I'm going to try to hook up my 360 in a different place. So I'm going to uh, do that now. I haven't even tried it yet, so I'll be doing it with you guys and see how it works out. So basically, we're going to see how we mount a 360 degree camera to a brand new Kawasaki. Okay, so we're going to mount it on the back, the multi-system mount right here. Um, first, I have the GoPro branded. I try to go GoPro brand with any of this stuff because when you go cheap, it just turns out to be junk. But this is for like a bike handlebars and stuff, but I think it's going to work for this. Um, I'm using for today the Insta360 monopod that I got. Uh, I have a longer monopod, it's like six feet tall or eight feet tall, but um, the tip broke, so I gotta order another one. And then down here at the bottom is a, uh, I don't even know if that's GoPro branded, but it's so it hooked to the GoPro mount, the GoPro mount right here. And then of course I have my Insta360 R2, X2, I don't even know what that is. And that's what we're working with. So. First thing we're going to do is our GoPro bike rack mount. Uh, as you can see it. So I'm going to slide it on here. I guess we'll just do it in the middle. Connect it there and just tighten that that way. All my senses are being asked or sound like questions because I have no clue what I'm doing clearly. I feel secure. Then let's drop this down here. Put that in there. Okay, that's secure, secure. This is, hmm, feels a little wobbly, but that's, ah. Okay, it's secure, it's secure, it's secure. Then, 360 here, I'm going to, I think, just give her a spin. There we go. Loosen it, come on, there you go. And then tighten it. Let's see here. Nope, I don't like that at all. Okay, so what I'm thinking I'll do, so first of all, whenever I hook up a GoPro, I always usually use a fishing line to secure it. A lot of people use lanyards, but the fishing line will help me, uh, it's pretty much see-through for the most part, so it doesn't show up in your footage and all that. So I think what I'll do is I'm gonna secure fishing line to the, down here, and I think I'm even up here somewhere, but I'm gonna take two zip ties, one would probably work, and zip tie this flush against that. Well, there's no really way to do it there, so be flush against this. And I think it, it bounced a little bit, but the Insta's supposed to have amazing stabilization. And depending on what camera you have, it may or may not. Um, what would be even sweeter, I think, is when I get that six foot or eight foot mono, I'm hoping I find an eight foot one, but if not a six foot one, the monopod, <clears throat> that should give us some really good footage, the entire ski and everything. But anyway, guys, this is how I am pretending to know how to <laughs> hook up a, install a 360 camera. Something else I'm thinking about doing, <clears throat> bringing you guys over here to the front, 
It would be neat if I could have one mounted somewhere and then come out this way. Maybe even up a little bit. That way you can see the front of the ski. You can see how the hole is in the water. I just, I really like that idea. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I'm not sure of a secure way to do it yet. You know, if any of you have some ideas, leave me a comment and let me know. Um, I'm thinking about a ram mount in here, but it either have to go way out here like this, or it'd be up, which is, you know, again, six foot one, that'd be okay. I'm thinking about maybe one of my suction cups, maybe right here with a short monopod coming out like this, maybe. I'm not real sure. Um, I'd really like to get some some opinions from some of you guys. So let me know what you think. And um, hey, if you liked the video uh, and enjoy the content, or even if you didn't, if you want to hit like, and we'd really appreciate if you hit subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. We're going to bang out a ton of content now that we got this bad boy back. And hey, look, most of you know that I crashed it, but we gotta wait for the body shop. Still got a couple little ughs. But that'd be fixed. I'm gonna wait till winter, I think. Okay, I'm done rambling. Thanks for watching, guys.